Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to some Ark Aberration. Gonna be trying to find us a frog today to tame. It'll help out with our cementy paste and chitin situation. Make it a lot easier since there are so many bugs around for us to use him to eat. So we're gonna be heading kind of over that way. It'll help us uh, explore the Ark a little bit more. That's just for reference over that way is where our first base was. So that way is the other direction. And that also kind of leads up to the outside, up to the surface. We'll be able to take a look up there and show you what's going on. Oh man, it's another uh, Ravager. What level are you, buddy? If I can find you with my spyglass. That might be that level 112 that we saw when we first came down here. Because I still haven't done anything with him. It's a level 44. He's got another one with him somewhere. They might be stuck down there. Hmm. We'll have to see. That's something that's coming up soon, too, is having to get some more of those tamed. That way we can have one for exploring around with all the zip lines. And also coming up, I need to get a Megalosaurus. We need to start looking and exploring for one of those. Speaking of them, let's not try to aggro that one. Get on the zip line over here real quick. Be somewhat protected. He can't follow us. Oh, dude. Yep, you tried. Tell you what, that's at level four. Maybe he'll follow us off the cliff over there. Or maybe he'll just sit right there. Dude, there's so much bad stuff down there, man. Oh, another roll rat, too. I need to kind of follow those around to get some more of the red gems. We need to get a gas collector going so we can set it up here and start getting that working so we can get... Start getting our hazmat suits. Dude, I forgot about all the spinos up here. That crab's almost dead. Dude, we need to get some more polymer. I did get one crab killed, and I had a little bit of polymer, the organic. That way I can make a... Cryopod. I definitely need to get a couple more cryopods, and I need to get some type of fridge made because they will not last long without being in a fridge. Oh, dude, I didn't bring mushrooms. I tell you what, man. Talk about being unprepared. Oh, it's another Ravager. <laughs> dude, those things are everywhere. Raptors as well. Poor little gotcha claws and more Ravagers. Oh, there's a rock drake down there. Dude, I don't know what they changed. The rock drakes used to not come up so far. But they seem to be up here quite a bit. Is that a drop up here I see? Reflecting? Definitely need to find some more drops. Start getting our gear and stuff sorted out. Some higher level stuff. It's kind of one thing I don't miss about Extinction is there's no regular drops. You have to do those defense waves. All right, so I did find a sheep to kill to get some raw mutton. I think frogs prefer that. We should be able to find some frogs over here. This is the other area. Well, there's a frog right there. This is the other area I like to build at whenever I'm doing my playthroughs. Let's see what level this dude is. Hopefully, a 140. Awesome. And, dude, he's purple, man. Hopefully, we got enough trait darts. I had enough to build 12. We'll go ahead and get him knocked out. There's usually not anything aggressive over here. So that'll help out. We just need to stay out of the water and make sure he doesn't hit us because he will knock us out with his torpor. Oh, dude. As I say that, I keep running right in front of him. But yeah, right over here is the other area I like building whenever I build up in the fertile forest. He should be not too far from getting knocked out. Oh, I say that and he keeps coming. I just don't want him to run and fall asleep in the water. I should have gone up that way. Oh, dude. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, see the bottom right-hand corner of our screen? It's, that's one of those icons that pop up when there's a max level creature around. Oh, there he goes. Nice. Don't get into the water, dude. Don't get into the water. Oh, please don't get in the water. Nice, is he out? I think he's out right there. But yeah, see, uh, max level wild dino detected. So we gotta be careful. I'm guessing it's gonna be right off the edge of that waterfall. That's usually where some of the big eels are. Let's grab some of the mutton out of him. 
I didn't bring all of it out of the sheep because we won't need that many pieces. I don't think we'll need this many. And I do just have a primitive saddle made. Nice. Let's go ahead. Well, he's doing that. It shouldn't take but a piece or two. And we will string us a zip line to get from up there down to here. See what's in that drop. That's also going to make it a easier way for us to get back up. What you got for us, man? Just some glow sticks. That's all right. We'll, we'll take those. We don't care about the compass. And I need to get electronics made. That's the other thing I needed to be able to get the cryo fridge. We can make batteries to run it off of. Oh, dude, where was... I don't remember where he passed out at. Oh, there we go. Nice. All right, dude. Let's leave you there. Oh, there's an earthquake. I don't think there's anything in the Ravager I really want to keep. Uh, we'll take those and those. Oh, dude, that sucks all that wood. That's all right, though. Let's... Oh, wait, I didn't want to do that. Let's drop all of this. And we'll cryopod him. I need to keep the leather, though. We are kind of shy on leather. And we'll take the frog back to base. This might be kind of hard to do, cryopodding him. With that earthquake going on. There we go. Nice. We'll take a look at this guy, see what he turned out to. Not a max level one, but, eh, it'll be fine. We safe? Yes, we are. Oh, wait. Oh, that's a blue gem. We can get those easily now, since we're down in the blue zone. We need the red ones. We'll have to take a look when the earthquake's done, see if any's around. So he tamed out to be a level 209. His health is 1520. Stamina is 817. Weight is 243. Oh my gosh, that is so low. Let's go ahead and drop this extra meat. Damage is 306 and movement speed 200%. So not too bad, not too bad. We are going to be using him for the bugs. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I've done a frog with bugs. Yeah, okay, so he does make some mini paste itself. I couldn't remember if we just got a bonus to chitin or some mini paste. Like he actually made it. So that'll help out. We get both. What we gotta do now is just find a bunch of these bugs to eat. Probably gonna up his carry capacity. So that doesn't go up too much in his damage percent. That should help out. I think it's kind of like how it works with Anki's. The more damage he has, the more you kind of get from him, you know? I could be wrong there. Let's take out a couple of these bugs. And we'll head up to where the surface entrance is. Take a look over there. I don't think there's going to be anything over there that'll hurt us. But this will help out too. Well, there's no water on this map, so it's not really going to make a difference. It's another gas vein. But this little creek does run right by our, our base where it goes down. So that'll help out. Oh, a little trilobite. Let me kill him real quick because we definitely need... Oh, I don't have anything on me. Go ahead and use him. Oh, there's another one right here. We need the oil. Nice. Uh, oh, wait, I thought he died. That's just a level up. Dude, I forgot how hard it is to control the frog, man. <laughs> I need to get a spear made. There we go. 12 oil. Not much, but... Maybe I'll come back here with the Ravager later and harvest these. I forgot there's a whole bunch of them around. As soon as we can make it up topside, though, we'll be able to get oil a lot easier. Let's get rid of all this extra weight. We'll put a little bit into health for you. Help keep you alive. A little bit more into damage. That should be good. Yeah, so we're already up to... Almost 100 on the cementy pace and quite a bit of chitin. I don't like having to kill the crabs for chitin because, oh man, it's just... The crabs mess you up so bad. Especially if they rip you off your mount. But here's another charge station. And I think the only thing that spawns up here that's dangerous are raptors sometimes. 
But right over... Oh, yeah, see, there's some right there. See if we can't get by them while they're messing with that horse. Excuse me, pardon me. And this is one of the exits that go up. Let's go ahead and string us. Make sure we're safe. String us a zip line. Oh, man, I didn't bring any of the things that I like, the pillars. All right, let's grab the Ravager out. We'll put the frog in the crowd pod for the moment. I guess I could make some pillars. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, let me do that real quick. I'm going to farm some stuff up, make some pillars so that we can mark these properly, and then we'll head up and take a look and see what's up there. All right, now that we got that sorted out, I might go ahead and start stringing our zip lines, if we can, that go up to the surface. Should be safe up here. We'll take a look and see what's in that drop here, too. Since we're right here. Can we get that over there? Oh, it went away. Oh, man, it took too long. I think it was right there. All right, well, let's head this way. I can't remember if there's any oil down in here. If there is, we'll get it. If not, we'll um, throw the frog back out whenever I head back, because I really need to get some more cementy paste. But yeah, you can kind of see how the surface is all scorched looking and everything. Oh, dude, is it daytime? Yeah, right up there is the out. Yeah, it's still daytime, so if we go too far, we'll start getting scorched. But these, you can actually farm for resources, if I remember right. Yeah, so you get a bunch of keratin from them. So that's a nice way to get stuff to make some mini paces as well. Find the bones that are around, and dude, you get a whole bunch of them out of each one. I can't remember if there's any of the element ore down here. Ah, I don't want to go too far. You can see how hot it is up there. I don't think the temperature's... It's 82 in here. That's just a regular metal. There's no oil nodes down here? Oh yeah, we're overheating already. So the temperature now is 160. <laughs> and as you get up higher, it'll actually just insta-fry you. Yeah, there's no rocks down here that's gonna have oil. Oh man, that sucks. Well, it being daytime, we can't really string our zip line either, but what I usually do is you need two zip lines. You can't do one to go all the way up, I think. If I remember right, I usually string one from here to there, and then there to there. That'll be another point in time we'll go up there. We really need a better Ravager because the Reapers are up there at nighttime. Oh, dude. Reapers are... Oh man, if you don't know what they are, they are very, very horrible. They're like big creatures that live in the ground. We can also tame one, so that's kind of that's gonna be a process whenever we get to that. Oh, there's another drop. Go ahead and grab it, and then we'll throw our frog back out because I really need some more summoning pace, and I'm hoping. I'll tell you what, let's just do this. Instead of hoping that I don't hit a bad mushroom, we'll just eat those. And just a platform blueprint, not anything that we need. All right, dude. Back in you go. Yeah, we're gonna be kind of overweighted with all this extra stuff. Let's get rid of... Don't need the metal or the wood. Ah, oh, black pearls. We kind of need to keep those. I've got a bunch of these pillars I made. Let's head over to where I went up there a few minutes ago. I want to put those pillars down, and then we can get rid of the rest. Grab this bug along the way. Might as well. I don't know where those raptors went to. Gotta kind of watch out for those as well. Let's put that into 
damage. So the other way to go up, I think it's a little bit of a run, if I remember right, from this exit that goes up to where the obelisk is. But down through that opening, just along the wall, is a second uh, exit to go to the surface. And then the only other one that I know about is way, way down in the red zone at the other end of the map. Alright, let's throw these last ones out so we can get rid of this weight on our inventory. Dude, can you please hit the bug? Come on, man! Dude, it's like he's teasing me. Did you see him? <laughs> he's like running up and everything. I need to take a look at batteries to see what I need to start making those soon too because we will be needing batteries for quite a few things. Alright, I think it was over here. Yeah, there it is. Not re really worried about the up one, or the down one, just that up one. And then let's drop the extras. Dude, why are you going nuts, man? Holy crap. Let's take a look off this cliff over here before we go. Oh, dude, should get some water while we're right here. Nice, nice, I like it. It's gonna get kinda loud, I mean the waterfalls are so loud in this map. Yes, yeah, so you gotta be careful, if you jump- Oh, dude, I'm getting pushed off, holy crap. Let's say if you fall down down here, it's a really, really bad area, but we're not far from the base. Oh, there's some more Megalosauruses down there. Can I ease up to it? Might be too far away to see what level. Yeah. Yep, too far away. Hmm. Well, that's going to be quite the task trying to get those things. Oh, yeah, you can kind of see over there. Over by that crystal. That's where it goes up again. But I'm going to head back to base and try to get some more of this mini paste. That way we can have a nice stock of it and get some stuff built. I need to get some more trank darts made. That way we can try to get us a Megalosaurus. We need to use the large bear traps to trap one. Quite a few of those, and I need to, I don't know, I might do the Ravagers off camera since we've already done it. I really, really need to get some good Ravagers going. And then we can start farming the Nameless whenever we get the Megalosaurus, because the Nameless do drop quite a bit of stuff, especially the ammo for the zip lines. Anyways, gonna go ahead and leave this one here. Got us a nice frog, man. Little Semini Pace Factory. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.